This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Hello and welcome to Into the Multiverse. Is time travel possible? Well, some scientists have mathematical reasons to believe that might be the case. We might actually see time travel uh, at some point. <laughs> welcome to Into the Multiverse. I am your host, Josh Peck. If you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you subscribe, click the little bell to let YouTube know you always want to be notified. And in case YouTube doesn't notify you, just know that every morning at 9 a.m. Central, uh, every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a brand new episode of Into to the multiverse. Now, part of the story today delves into territory we covered a couple of weeks ago uh, about this idea of space and time being sort of the same thing. What if time is just another dimension of space that we can't fully understand? What if that's all it is? We've talked about that before on this channel. I've been thinking a lot about it. So I was really interested when this story came to me uh, about these, these mathematics that physicists developed to show that time travel could actually be possible, even though everything that we might think scientifically would say that it's not, but apparently it is. According to this new mathematical model, the trick is to use space-time, the curvature of space-time, in, in order to complete a circle in which that you could travel backward in time or even skip forward ahead in time. And this is the first time that actual mathematics have been developed to support this type of thing. Now, of course, we'll have to give it time to go through scrutiny from other physicists and scientists and mathematicians and things, but at least the way that it looks right now, uh, this, is, uh, this is correct. Ben Tippett, a theoretical physicist and mathematician from the University of British Columbia in Canada, along with David Sang, an astrophysicist at the University of Maryland, developed this mathematical model using Einstein's theory of general relativity. And what's really interesting is what they decided to call this thing. They're calling it, and I'm not joking, a traversable, a causal retrograde domain in space-time. And yes, that acronym does spell out TARDIS. <laughs> Now to inject a little bit of realism in here, the scientists are not saying that we can actually develop a time machine today or any time uh, in the near future. Apparently to use these mathematics towards any type of machine, it would require particles and matter that's so exotic we haven't discovered it yet and really have no idea if it even exists. So that's a pretty big stumbling block. Now how this ties back into our episode from a couple weeks ago is this model looks at the universe as four-dimensional rather than three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. Most models of the universe look at space and time as separate. Uh, they have some similarities. They're kind of sort of the same sort of thing in a way, but they're, they're totally separate. This one, this one looks at the universe as four-dimensional, meaning that space and time are essentially the same thing. They're, they're interwoven in the fabric of space-time. This would mean different directions of space and time are all connected and woven within this uh, fabric of curved space-time. And that's interesting to think about because the scientists claim that time just like space, time is also curved. We know that space is curved, but they say time is curved as well. And they say this is why time goes slower the closer you're getting to a black hole. So time is curved in, in the same way that space is, apparently. So at least in this mathematical model for this, this type of time machine, you could think of them in the same way. You could think of space and time as being the same type of thing. So the idea behind this is to develop a bubble of space-time geometry that would allow whoever is inside of that bubble to travel backward in time or forward in time by curving around until, until you, come, you come full circle, depending how far back or how for, forward you want to go. Now, if this bubble, and this is a big if, but if this bubble can travel faster than the speed of light, which mathematically seems to at least be possible, though we don't know if that would be employable in actual physical reality. I personally don't think so, but, uh, but I wouldn't want to say that and then have it turn out to be the case someday, so I'm open to the possibility. But if this bubble of space-time geometry can travel faster than the speed of light, then the scientists say that that will allow the person to travel backward in time, and the math seems to show that that's at least theoretically possible. But again, the only downside is we know of no materials, no particles, no, really nothing that can achieve what would 
would need to be achieved in order for this time machine to actually work. It would need to be made of matter that is that is so exotic it hasn't been discovered yet. And again, scientists have no idea if this stuff even exists. I mean, uh, there there was a theory back in the 90s or so about a, a tachyon, which was a hypothetical particle. It was a name given to a hypothetical particle that could travel faster than the speed of light, which means that it would be traveling backwards in time. Uh, of course, nothing like that's ever been discovered, and there's no reason to believe anything like that uh, exists, or even if it does, how we would go about detecting such a thing. Uh, but that's why this isn't uh, a mechanical model, it's just a mathematical model of a time machine. So as always, I want to know what you think. Uh, do you think that time travel will ever be possible, going backwards in time or going forward in time faster than is normal? Now, we know that that does happen uh, when we increase our momentum. We travel forward in time a little bit more than, than the rest of the world. Uh, but what about backward in time? Is this something that God would allow? You know, when we look at the Bible, there isn't anything that specifically says anything about time travel. Uh, but are there other verses that we could look at and maybe kind of gauge where where God's feelings are on this whole thing? I mean, you know, I, I personally would think that it's probably best not to mess with it, but I, I'm interested to know what you think. Is there is there any reason that this would be a good thing? Uh, or do you think that it would just all be catastrophic, all be terrible? Should we become a time-traveling species if we were ever given the capability or if we ever discovered a way to do it? Um, I personally don't think we'll ever get there, but <laughs> I'm a little bit pessimistic when it comes to things like that, but that's okay. I do want to know what you think. Please leave me a comment in the comment section below. And again, if you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you subscribe, click on the bell, and if YouTube still doesn't notify you, just know that every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a brand new episode of Into the Multiverse. Thank you so much for joining me in the, on this other another episode about time. Uh, it seems like a reoccurring theme. Maybe we'll do some more. Uh, I mean, it is Into the Multiverse, so I'm sure that topic will come up again. If you have any questions that you would like answered on the show or any show ideas, feel free to email me at jpeck at skywatchtv.com or again, just leave it in the comment section below on YouTube. Thank you all so much and until next time, take care and God bless. Most American families are just 72 hours away from disaster. Here at Skywatch TV, we hope we can help avoid that. I have been given permission to tell about this massive deal. There's one packet where you get one of each of these, breakfast and entree buckets, and again, 25 years uh, shelf life. With that, you will get 15 of these Wise Fire packets. You'll get one of this water bottle. It will filter 99.9% .9 of the impurities out of your water. Also, you will get for free this awesome auto kit. Now, there's another package. There are, there are two more packages. The second package, you get three of each bucket. You pay for those, and you get the auto kit free, you get the wise fire free, and you get two of these bottles. There's a third deal. You won't believe this one. You get six of each of these. You get the auto kit free, you get the wise fire free, you get two bottles. Guess what else? You get the Mac Daddy. Ooh. 50 gallon water storage container. If the electric grid goes down, one of these is going to come very handy. Three packages for preparedness one that feeds a family of six for a month, one that feeds a family of six for three months, and one that feeds a family of six for half a year. And of course, that includes the 50 gallon water tank. And with each package, we'll include free the Everyday Gourmet Cooking with Long Term Food Storage, a $50 value. And with all of these September Preparedness Month specials, we'll include a copy of the excellent book by Christian preparedness expert Ray Gano, Survive the Coming Storm, The Value of a Preparedness Lifestyle. You'll find all of those deals online, the Wise Food Preparedness Specials, at skywatchtvstore.com.